I want to show you guys how I came across one of the best fourth quarter opportunities related to Christmas, how I validated this opportunity, and then how I used AI to create unique designs within this niche. So I'm going to be showing you that step by step. Let's get to it. Let's get right into it. This is a real time look into how I conduct my daily research. So I'm jumping into Merch Dominator. I'm going to go to the left hand side and I'm going to click MBA and KDP and go to best sellers. And then I'm going to sort by newest so I can see the newest submissions to Amazon Merch that have already sold. It's useful for Etsy sellers too, by the way. It's not just Amazon Merch. Uh, this is just a nice way of keeping your finger on potential trends. Now, Behind me, I don't see necessarily anything jumping off the page as a new trend. Like I look for repetition. That's typically how I, you know, maybe find opportunities that could be emerging trends. So as I scroll, and I had already done this, by the way. So me doing it right now is not exactly real time. I noticed these here behind me. Notice there's two different but similar designs. One says most likely to watch all the football games. That would actually be my shirt if my family had to vote. And the other one says most likely to eat santa's cookies also could be my shirt but i think football is probably more likely to be mine anyways i saw two of them so i'm like all right maybe there's something here so i go back up here i change sorting to bsr and i'm just going to type in most likely and hit search and let's see if there's other products in the merch dominator database related to this niche boom what do you know there is a ton of them all right i'm going to zoom in a little bit just so you can read some of them most likely to nap on Christmas, most likely to eat Santa's cookies. By the way, BSRs, 120,000, 130,000. Next one, 140,000. These are already selling. People are already out there buying their Christmas shirts, all right? Most likely to bring a stray cat home. Most likely to watch all the Christmas movies. Most likely to fart on Santa's lap. Most likely to overshop. Most likely to play video games on Christmas. There's so many good ones, guys. Now, here's the thing that I, well, actually, no, one, one other thing about this niche. I love it because you can make one really good design template, switch in and out the text, and really get more bang for your buck in terms of you spend time, time is money, making a good design template. Then you just need to insert the text that people find funny enough to want to purchase on a shirt and wear, and that's really it, right? But what do you put for the text? You could copy what already exists, but I mean, come on now. Do you, do you have to? No, you don't. You could get creative, have fun, use your brain and not outsource everything to AI. But I know that's not popular anymore. Everybody wants to use AI and I don't fault you for that, right? So what we can actually do here in Merch Dominator is go down here on the left-hand side to AI tools, all right? And I'm not judging anybody, by the way, for using AI. I was just making a joke. We can click AI quote generator, okay? So if you don't feel like putting the creative hat on, because like I said, time is money, you can actually come to Merch Dominator's AI quote generator. You can click specify the keyword. For emotion, I'm gonna hit funny. Uh, length, I will keep as medium. Number of results, I will say 10. Then I'm gonna click generate. Oops, I forgot to put my keyword in. Most likely to, okay? Most likely to, and then I'm gonna say Christmas, okay? So it's gonna be a Christmas theme, and it should say most likely to. Number of results, 10. Emotion, funny. Length, we kept it at medium. I'm gonna click generate and watch this. We have an AI assistant doing the work for us, basically. <laughs> it just came up with 10 pieces of text, right? Phrases that we could put in our design template to make these shirts. That's simple, right? We found a potentially merging trend, we validated it, and now we've outsourced using AI all the creative, basically, <laughs> outside of just putting the Christmas elements together to make an actual design template. So it says most likely to spike the eggnog with extra cheer. Most likely to wrap a cat as a gift. Most likely to eat Santa's cookies, every single one. Most likely to hang mistletoe around the office. Most likely to mistake reindeer for festive lawn thieves. Most likely to turn tinsel into a fashion statement. Most likely to text Santa for a gift update. Most likely to sing carols till New Year's Eve. Most likely to roast chestnuts on a radiator. Most likely to dream of white Christmas dot 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 in July. So A, 10 nice and probably original. We don't know. You'd have to actually go and like do some research to know if they're actually original. But just like that, within seconds, AI did that for us. Now, we can regenerate and get new ones just with one click. All right. Most likely to swap gifts for gingerbread houses. Most likely to confuse elves with leprechauns. See what I'm saying? We could switch the length. Let's see what short does. So we switched it from medium to short and we reprocessed most likely to misplace the wreath most likely to dance with snowmen, most likely to glitter bomb tree. So 
it might actually be better on the short length. Honestly, it's easier to jam less text in than more, but let's switch it to long and get an idea of what that comes up with as well. Should be some longer phrases eh, about the same, most likely to wear antler hat at a fancy dinner, most likely to juggle jingle bells at midnight, most likely to mistake coal for chocolates. Uh, let's see here. Now I wanted to show you one other thing, guys. You can jump on over to Etsy and validate this as well. Most likely to, and what do you know? The first thing that comes up most likely to Christmas shirt. So clearly these are popular, right? We don't need to only use merch dominator to only look at Amazon. You can jump on over to Etsy too. If you get an idea from merch dominator and validate it on Etsy, validate it on Redbubble, which you can actually do in merch dominator too. But you see, like we jump on over to Etsy for a second and what do you know? This is extremely popular. Uh, there's not only print on demand sales, but there's also of course sellers selling to sellers. So you can actually grab a 90 SVG bundle. I don't want to click an ad, make sure that's not an ad does not look like it's an ad. Here's a bundle of 90 different SVGs already made for you. <laughs> okay. Most likely to take a nap, most likely to overshop, most likely to wake up first on Christmas morning. So even if you don't want to do any creative work at all. Uh, it looks like Etsy, this design, this niche, I should say this niche was popular enough that, you know, certain sellers have not only been selling like one off, you know, SVGs, but they're selling massive bundles. And I'm guessing they did what we just did. They probably used AI to generate the quotes, inserted them into a design template. And you know, this is in 18 carts. So while it's priced pretty cheaply, if you make a lot of sales, right, it adds up, you know what I mean? They're even showing you the print on demand mockups of how to go about utilizing these pre-made designs. So guys, that is just one way that I'm out here doing research, respecting the core formula at the heart of my money-making ventures online, which is that time is money, right? <laughs> like we can respect it or not, but it, it's, it's always true, right? Time is money. If our goal is to make money, let's try to optimize how long it takes us to get there to our end goal. And tools like Merch Dominator, as you just saw, are expediting the research process, which is only one step, but it starts with research, then it comes to design, and then it comes to creating SEO optimized listings and potentially launching an ad with each listing, not required to be successful, but of course, that is always on the table. And I felt the need to mention it because if we're talking about these things through the scope of time invested, well, it takes time to run ads, you know what I mean? So I just wanted to mention that. And from there, maybe customer service, hopefully not. But anyways, guys, you get the gist of it, right? It starts with research. That's what I just showed you in this video. I showed you how to find the niche, how to validate it, and then how to use AI to hopefully find some unique ways of selling within that niche. I hope you found this video helpful. Again, I'm gonna link to Merch Dominator in the description. Please hit that like button and subscribe if you found this video helpful, and I will see you soon with another new video.